back lucky charm seven um today i have just like a sorry guys Oof. anyway today i have like a little review for you guys on uh some different things that i found i finally have the 120 review for you guys i know i've been trying to say i was gonna get that up for forever but i have it thank you guys for being so patient and i did buy some drugstore stuff just a, really a few things and um this new mac foundation that i'm gonna try a mac powder but anyway let's start with the good stuff the 120 and my 120 is a little bruised and battered. I've had it for probably... See? Yeah, this whole top part, it's not supposed to come off. Mine definitely comes off. But um, it's 120 colors. I really, really like it. It comes with this little plastic film thing. I numbered mine just so I can tell, like, what color. If I'm trying to, you know, tell my sister what color I use, I just tell her, you know, like, 43 on the blue side. So I number mine, and when I make tutorials using this, I'll probably use the numbers, if that's helpful for you guys. But anyway... This is the black, purple, blue, green side of the 120. As you can tell, I have my certain favorites. This one, wait, this one uh, is my favorite highlight out of the whole palette. It's really, really pretty. Can't see my mouth moving. I don't really know if you have to. No, it probably doesn't matter. Anyway, random on a tangent. Um, I broke it because I dropped it. Do not drop this because if you drop it, you'll pretty much hate yourself because... It's, it's so beautiful until you drop it, and then you just get so depressed, but I digress. Anyway, uh, these two colors I really like for highlights because they have, like, a, a nice little shimmer to them, but they're really, really, really chalky. The color's nice, but um, it's really chalky, so be careful with that. So you really just need to, like, barely touch your brush in it. Um, I also use this purple a whole lot as you can tell you can already start seeing the pan because it's kind of when I want to smoke out the eye I kind of have it on today let's see anyway. it's kind of when you want to smoke out the eye but you don't want to use a black that purple is so perfect for that I love it um uh, the colors are pretty pigmented in this palette let me show y'all the other side too and the look that I have on today which is kind of like a sunset -y look I don't know um all the colors came from the 120 this is the really bright color side. I love this side. Um, I use it a lot for the oranges and yellows and the blues. Of course, this is my other blue. When I want to smoke it out and I don't want to use the black and I don't want to use that purple either, I use this dark blue. As y'all can tell, those are definitely my favorite ones. But if you're a beginning uh, makeup person, I really do suggest that you go out and get this. Um, the place to order is I ordered mine from eBay. Uh, they come from Japan, so I mean it takes about like maybe a week or two to get here from Japan. And I wouldn't spend more than $30 on this. You can find them on eBay for like, after shipping it's like $27. And mine came with a little brush Brushes roll. that come in here are really good for like beginners and things like that. You don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a brush. It's going to do the trick. Um, comes with a little eyebrow thing. Comes with this brush. The only thing I don't like about these brushes is they shed like crazy. Like, you'll be pulling hairs out of these things for at least the first two months that you get them. They, they just shed really bad. But um, they're really soft. Um, I like this one, too. This one works good for, like, a um, in your crease. I like that. And this one's good for, like, a all over the lid. This one has, like, kind of like a little blender you can use, too. And this one, uh, you know how I feel about these little smudgy things, guys. I hate them, but whatever. And this one is actually a really good liner. If you have gel liner, it's a good liner one, so I really like it. I really like the the brushes. The brushes are okay, but I really love my 120 palette. If you're just starting off with makeup, like I said, it's something you gotta get because it does have like, um, uh -oh. it has like a row of neutrals at the bottom. So if you're not quite ready to do bright colors, you can still play with these. And then it has like some neutral greens. I mean, some like not as bright greens and things like that. So I like these. But when you're ready to move up to super bright colors, it has that too. So, I mean, I really love it. So, together, they're going to look like this. Kind of. Anyway, so, bottom line, what I'm trying to say is I love my 120 palette. And I think that everybody should run out and get it. Well, of course, not, like, if you don't wear makeup. But if you wear makeup, run out and get it. But I guess you wouldn't be watching this tutorial if you don't wear makeup, right? I don't know. Anyway, it's a Friday. I'm tripping. But whatever. Okay, something else that I am. Um, so, I kind of wanted to try something different. I probably shouldn't eat and make tutorials, right? Talking with your mouthful, that's bad. Hopefully my mom won't watch this video, right? Anyway, so this, this is what I got. That's what I was getting to, this. If y'all can see it, it's the MAC 
Mineralized Skin Finish. I've heard really good things about these. Um, I have the MAC Bronzer Skin Mineralized Skin Finish, uh, like bronzer thing in gold deposit, which is really, really pretty. But I really like this because when I saw it at the MAC store, it looks like that. It has like a really cool little sheen finish to it. And I really like it. I'm really a matte person, so I was kind of was a little bit hesitant to try this because it looked like it might not have a super matte finish, but I like it. It kind of looks like this. Can y'all see that? IDK. But I have mine in dark, and uh, they have a shade darker than this called Deep Dark. But I really like it. The coverage is really sheer. I have it on right now, and um, I just really like it. Uh, I don't have a MAC base on because last night I ran to CVS. And got a new base. Because I'm running out of my MAC. And I left it. And I think I might try the MAC um, Mineralized Liquid Foundation too. I don't know. So if any of y'all got, if you, any of you guys have it, let me know what you think about it. Because I'm really thinking about buying it. And I don't want to buy it and hate it. So let me know. Anyway, I've been dying to try this stuff. It's Maybelline Superstay Makeup. Supposedly, it's a 24 hour and it's zero transfer. That's what really got it, zero transfer. My boyfriend totally flips out when I get makeup on his shirts. When, like, I hug him or something. But, I mean, sorry. I try not to. But, anyway. So, I wanted to try this because it's zero transfer. Now, as far as zero transfer goes, I swatched some on my hand in the store. And I let it dry a little bit and wiped it on my jacket. And it totally came off of my jacket. But, I don't know. So, I tried it this morning. And I put it under that MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I really like it. Um, the consistency is pretty good. You can put it on with the blush. It's a lot thinner than MAC foundations. So I kind of didn't think I was going to like it. But it's really buildable. So it kind of looks like that. And then when you blend it, like it blends out really nice. So I like that. Um, they're having a sale at CVS where I could get like two Maybelline products and then you get $3 off or something like that. Any excuse to buy makeup, I buy makeup. But I tried this uh, Lime Stiletto since I like my uh, Lash Stiletto. I love this. I don't know why my voice had to get so nasty to, you know, show y'all how much I love it. But I really do love this. It's just a really dark, um, this is in black. Like, it's like a felt liner pin thing. It's not a pin because it's a brush. But it's so, like, the line is just like it goes. And you let it dry for like five seconds and it's not going anywhere all day. Because I have this on all day. And so I really like, I really like this. I think this is going to be my new favorite liner. Mmm. I really do because I'm not a fan of the brush on liners because my curly lashes and all that stuff. But I really, really like this, guys. Um, I'm going to keep using it and let you guys know what I, I really think about it. But I don't think my opinion is going to change. And this stuff, I like it so far as like an everyday foundation. I, um, I was using Dream Dreamaline, Maybelline uh, Dream Mousse uh, Pump Foundation in Caramel because this is in Caramel too. But I kind of like this too. So I'll keep using this and let y'all know how it holds up with like sweat and all that kind of stuff. Like all day, sun, humidity. Uh, I was out in the sun today and it was kind of humid outside. So it worked really well today. But we'll see in the future. Um, and I have uh, also, oh, this is what I have on my lips today. This video is so like sporadic. I'm just jumping from topic to topic. I'm just excited that I have a day off, guys. I have a day off. Wow, that's like never going to happen again in life. But, um... I gotta stop eating. Sorry. Random. But I have this lip mixers on my lips. This is Milani lip mixers in Lip Mingle. So that's all I have on my lips. I have this Mary Kay blush. I love it. My roommate gave it to me. It's like a sample blush. But when I run out, I'll probably buy another one. It's in Copper Beauty. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> it's like this. It's in Golden Copper. JK. Totally lied. It's in golden copper, so it's like a nice little um, golden copper color. I don't know. But anyway, guys, if you guys have any questions about the 120 or any of the products that I showed you guys today, just let me know. But I do think that the 120 is a really great buy, uh, especially for any makeup people. You got, like, a lot of colors to experiment and play with with, play with with, play with in one palette. So definitely pick that up. Message me if you have any questions. Again, I appreciate all you subscribers that have been subscribing and watching and rating and commenting. I really do appreciate that, guys. So, anyways, I guess I will see y'all on the next go-round. Have a great weekend, guys.